Ahoy! Hello la, and welcome to this narrowboat adventure. My name is Jasmine and today we're going to be reversing around a corner. And I say we, I'm not going to be reversing around a corner. This video is going to have a lot of Seb in it because he was reversing around a corner and I thought I've had a request for how to do particular boat manoeuvres so this would be the perfect time to do it. So I stood up on the roof and I filmed him so we can talk about how and what he's doing. So one of the things that you'll notice is that when he's reversing, he's always reversing in a straight line. And that's basically because with narrow boats, you basically have no control on the direction you're going when you're reversing, unless you have a really fancy boat and you have um, the little, uh, what's it called at the front? I don't remember, but we don't have them, whatever they are. So what we do when we're reversing is you get the boat into the place you want it, and then you reverse and then if it comes if you need to change the direction that your boat is facing or if you need to turn as in this video we were turning around a corner um, you have to put the engine into neutral wait for a minute because if you go too quickly from neutral to forward it will often stall and then when you go into forward just a very very slight bit of forward and then once you've got the engine going you're going to go from the central position of the tiller to, to whichever is the direction you want the front of the boat to be so when you're driving forward you're going for the opposite direction when you're driving backwards you're going for the direction you want the front of the boat to be so then that will pivot the boat so then once you've done that you're going to immediately go back to neutral wait for the boat to pivot to the position you want and then reverse again um, so in this case we were reversing around a corner because our path had been blocked and we were going back into Limehouse Marina um, and it was done very nicely. It wasn't a terribly windy day. Um, my biggest tip for any maneuvering you're gonna do in a narrow boat is just use the absolute minimum you can of engine power. Because if you start using your engine really quickly, you're gonna have no time to fix anything that's not quite right. And then that's gonna be when problems start. So this, cause the water is quite slow and so is the boat. So if you just use the minimum amount of engine you can, then it gives you a lot more opportunities to sort of try and correct anything. And it can be a bit confusing if you're trying to remember, okay, so am I turning the tiller left or right? And so when you're first starting particularly, that can be difficult, but also like there's no hurry. If you go a bit slower and you do the maneuver nicely, as you'll see Seb did, um, then it's no biggie. It, and you're much less likely to make any mistakes if you do go slower. Um, what else is today? Nothing really. So let's go straight over to Seb reversing around a corner. I stood on the roof so you could get a bird's eye view. So this is the mooring spot that we were leaving. To get to this point we literally just pushed the boat out until it was at the angle that we wanted and then started to reverse. And as you can see we're coming up to this corner. So you'll see in a moment that Seb begins by putting the boat into neutral and then he puts it into reverse and turns the tiller towards the way that he wants the boat to go and that makes the boat pivot so rather than having to start going forward again to make the turning he can pivot the boat on its in this on the spot that it's in and it also gives you a lot more control um, and so he does that, takes a moment, lets the boat continue moving because it will continue moving after you turn the engine off and then if it needs a little bit more he'd do the same thing again. So you can see we're keeping an eye on the front to make sure that we're not going to hit anything in front of us and he's decided he needs a little bit more pivot. So he's doing the same thing, turning the engine on very gently and then taking the tiller from, tiller from the centre position to the way he wants the back of the boat to move and then when he's happy with the position as you can see he's just about to put it into reverse again and Seb's always very considerate and tries to leave enough space so that if a boat was to come it would have space to come past him so you can see here now we've started to reverse
and as you can see he's going very slowly as I spoke about it's much easier if you can go slowly so that you have the option to to realign things if you're not happy with the position you're in as you can see Seb's doing that here he's decided he's overshot it a little bit so he's just adjusting back the opposite way and then when he's happy with the position he goes back into reverse As you can see here, just very slowly reversing into Limehouse Basin. Um, so Limehouse Basin is rather large, but um, we're reversing into Limehouse Basin this time because we are just going to uh, fill up our water and empty our toilets before we continue our journey. And uh, basically where we were, we would have had to have gone forward much further than we wanted to to be able to turn around and then go back to do this and and this just seemed a far more effective and what's the word efficient way of doing things so as we come out into huge limehouse basin we'll probably turn around again so that we're facing the right direction to go into the water point oh I just love Limehouse Basin, it's so pretty. So that's where we've come from, and we have successfully navigated around a corner. How are you doing there? Have you written that down? Are you, are you working out the notes? So this green boat is where the uh, LSAN is, so we're just going to have to wait for a little while until we can get on the um, facilities. And in the meantime, here's a cormorant. So here we're going to turn around again while we're waiting. And it looks like come alongside the boat that's just there. So again, just taking things very relaxed, turning very gently, not putting the, um, the boat into too high of a gear when doing these sorts of manoeuvres because there's really no need and they go a lot more smoothly when you take things nice and slow. Thank you very much for watching. That was reversing around a corner and um, I hope that I've explained it well and made it understandable because it is quite difficult when you're first getting started to get your head around how to do these different things but being taught how to pivot is one of the best things we've ever learned actually, it's very useful and useful not just when reversing, but also just when sort of turning around or getting out of a tight space. Um, if you would like to join us again for more narrowboat adventures, then please do click subscribe. And if you have any ideas or things that you wanna see, tell me in the description. Uh, this video came from an idea from a viewer, so there will be, I have a whole list, so I'd love to add to it with your ideas. And if you would like to also, I have a Facebook, you can, uh, message me there and I generally reply um, quite quickly 
and if you want to follow there I do just post the videos on there as well because I know sometimes the YouTube subscription box isn't that reliable um, and also if you would like to contribute towards these videos then you can go over to Patreon I'll have a link in the description of the video for that too I'm just about to send out some packages to all my patrons which I'm really excited so if you've got an address on Patreon then keep an eye on your mailbox and thank you very much have a wonderful day and goodbye Thank you.